everyone, Emily Gauvin here and welcome back to another quick fix video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use double sided adhesive to create custom patterns for garments and costumes. To begin with, I only ever use the brand Heat and Bond. This video is in no way sponsored by them, but I've come to rely only on this brand for best results. First, I'll start by tracing my design pattern onto the matted side of the adhesive paper. This costume is actually a commission for a friend. I'll be adding pink and red hearts all over it. Can you guess what costume I'm making? Since the paper isn't so cheap, I'm trying to waste as little space as possible. For this particular project, I need approximately 100 hearts. Now that I'm done with the tracing, I'm cutting it halfway between my sets of hearts since half of them will be red and the other half will be pink. Iron out the fabric you'll be using to create your design and then, setting the glossy side of the paper against the wrong side of your fabric, iron it into place using maximum heat. I suggest turning off the vapor on your iron for this. Repeat this process for any other fabrics you might have. In my case, I only have two, so I'll have to do it one more time. Because my design was so big, I'm sectioning off my hearts to give it a second shot of iron. Before proceeding, make sure your iron is on maximum heat unless that will melt your fabric, in which case put it on the highest heat possible, and make sure you turn off the vapor. The vapor usually creates pockets of air and that's no good. Pass the iron a second time on each of the sections. Afterwards, use a flat object to smooth out the paper and help cool it down. This helps the glue settle in for a better, stronger hold. Now it's finally time to start cutting out your design. The reason we do this only now is because once the glue is well settled in on the edges, it'll help prevent them from fraying. I believe it is always best to leave a little extra space around your design before attaching it to the fabric and then cutting it. I promise you it is an A++ trick. Now that I have all my hard pieces ready to go, it's time to attach them to the garment. First, you'll need to peel off the paper on the back. Position your design properly and iron it on. Again, maximum heat, no vapor, and use a flat object to smooth it out and cool it off.
Now that I've got one side of the garment done, and since my pattern is even on both sides, I'm aligning the front to match the designs. I've started by pinning it in place and then aligning the hearts using my ruler before ironing them. I repeat the same process along the side seams. And here it is done! And for those of you who don't know, this is King Kamoshida's cape from Persona 5. Now let's move on to some more examples of when I've used this technique. Similarly to what I did with King Kamoshida, I created the pattern for Talim's belt using heat and bod and two different fabrics. It can also be seen here on the eyes of my current hats. It's an easy and quick fix for a small detail. It can be seen here again on B's cap and in front of the envelope. I also added a nice border around the wings, also using the double-sided adhesive. My Osobot Sun logo, just like the wings on B's cap, have a nice border, but I also added hand embroidery over the border for a more stunning effect. And if you are absolutely insane, you can create your whole design using heat and bond and then cover the whole thing with hand embroidery. It is insanely time consuming, but it looks absolutely gorgeous and the heat and bond layer helps keep the design nice and even and gives it a beautiful thickness. And there you have it. Hope this was helpful. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and feel free to subscribe for more useful tutorials. Until next time, good luck with your projects.